सो हेलो गाइज एज यू नो दैट हिस्ट्री टेकिंग इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन वेन इट कम्स टू द क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट्स बिकॉज इन ऑल द क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट्स यू हैव अ लॉन्ग केस फॉर दैट यू नीड टू गेट एन आइडिया अबाउट हिस्ट्री टेकिंग एंड ऑल्सो इन द क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस वेन यू प्रैक्टिस इन डिफरेंट हॉस्पिटल्स और वेन यू प्रैक्टिस इन चेंबर ऑल्सो और इन एमरजेंसी ऑल्सो यू नीड टू टेक अ ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री सो हिस्ट्री टेकिंग इज अटमोस्ट नेसेसरी for our field so i am going to run a series on history taking that would be available on my uh, youtube channel in the clinical essence section uh, so this is the first part i would be talking about the basic structure of the history taking what are the headings under which we have to take the history and all so uh, uh, when you uh, study the history taking from macleod or or any other foreign author they stress much upon the attire the communication skills the bonding you build up but in the case uh, if you are in india so the case is not that means here people are not that much educated or you are practicing in a government hospital so it's not much sophisticated and sophisticated patients are not there so few things that you need to remember that you have to dress properly so that Uh, आपको लगे कि मतलब उन लोगों को लगे पेशेंट को लगे और पेशेंट पार्टी को लगे कि आप बड़े डॉक्टर डौक, हैं तो बड़े डॉक्टर आते हैं तो फिर ही सब लोग अपना खुलासा करते हैं कि क्या क्या है तो बड़े डॉक्टर जैसा दिखना है दैट्स द पॉइंट सो यू नीड टू हैव द कॉन्फिडेंस यू नीड टू हैव अ प्रॉपर ड्रेसिंग यू नीड टू हैव अ स्टेथोस्कोप अराउंड यू सो दैट दे थिंक यू आर अ डॉक्टर एंड यू नीड टू स्पीक टू द पॉइंट ओके there are two kinds of uh, patients that you would get in the hospitals mainly the government hospitals number 1 those who speak too much and number 2 those who don't speak at all <laughs> you don't get anything in between that would satisfy your demand because they don't know no how much you require so you need to be very much specific uh, in case the patient does not speaks at all then you have to ask some leading questions to elicit the history and if the patient uh, speaks too much then you have to chhan kar nikalna padega means you have to segregate it and uh, take out the important points so uh, as you can see that history taking is an art and an art cannot be mastered in one night so you need to practice the history taking then only you can master it and i would give you my tips and how to remember them and how to take a brief clinical history uh which is attractive and all and uh, what all to take so let's start the series so coming into the basic headings under which you have to take the history okay so firstly is the patient particulars uh, means if you maintain this sequence it good it's good means these four you have to maintain the sequence you can't change the sequence okay so it should be sequential and also you should mention all the headings first is the patient particulars where you take the name age sex of the patient so the basic uh, patient identification features and from the patient particulars all, only you establish the patient doctor relationship then is the chief complaints maximum of 2 to 3 only one is also suffice chief complaint means the main complaint with which the present patient presents so out of all the complaints you have to segregate that one or two important complaint okay then is the history of present illness where you have to elaborate the chief complaint and take the negative history so that the other problems are not present and you are going towards the diagnosis you have to show that okay then is the past history the past history is of past medical history past surgical history and past history of blood transfusion then is the treatment history the treatment that he is receiving in the hospital after admission that is the treatment history and drug history also you can take from the past uh, which drugs he is receiving in a separate drug history also then is the personal history the personal history it is called so because uh, it depends on the habits okay like bladder up bowel sleep appetite the socio economic status also you included there so this is not present in case of the pediatrics because uh, habits are not formed in children like that so and then is the addiction history you have to take detailed addiction history like smoking how many packets per year or drinking alcohol how many gram per day then is the allergy history if it is present or not and then is the family history high risk history also you can take 
देन इज द मेन्स्ट्रल हिस्ट्री इन केसेस ऑफ फीमेल्स इट इज नेसेसरी ओके एंड द ऑब्सटेटिक हिस्ट्री नॉट मच नेसेसरी बट इन कैनियन ऑफ सो यू हैव टू टेक बट इन केस ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ऑल्सो इट इज इट इज टू बी टेकिंग बिकॉज ब्रेस्ट कैंसर डिपेंड्स ऑन द पैरिटी ऑफ द पेशेंट वेदर शी हेज कंसीव्ड बिफोर बिफोर थर्टी ईयर्स और आफ्टर थर्टी ईयर्स और इफ द पेशेंट हैज कंटिन्यूड ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग और नॉट बिकॉज दे आर द रिस्क फैक्टर्स ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सो इन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर यू हैव टू टेक द ऑब्सटेटिक्स हिस्ट्री एंड ऑब्वियसली इन केसेस ऑफ गाइनी ऑप्स हिस्ट्री वेन ऑब्सटेटिक्स हिस्ट्री यू वेन यू आर एलिसिटिंग यू हैव टू टेक दैट हिस्ट्री so this is it for today and if you have any other doubt uh, you can message me on instagram the social media handle is given in the description below and uh, stay tuned because the next video is going to come and i would complete the history taking series so that you get a brief understanding about how to take a good history okay thank you mm -hmm.